Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you part three of my extreme organization home edit series. I'm really excited to share this one with you. I posted something similar a few months back and you loved it and it was really successful. It was actually my closet at home before I moved from New Jersey to Arlington and now that we've moved into our new apartment I really want to get everything settled, everything organized. We'll be organizing my bathroom, my kitchen, and of course my walk-in closet. I think I'm most excited to organize my walk-in closet because there's a lot to do. It's going to be a huge before and after. To make it easy to watch all parts of this series, I've linked it in the playlist below so you guys can just click on that and watch all of them. We actually moved into our apartment in September and it's now January. It's the new year 2022 and it is the perfect time to get everything organized and finally settled in the way that we want it and what works for us. Everything was just kind of thrown, unpacked. If you have ever moved before, you kind of know that like when you unpack the boxes, it's just like get everything out of the boxes and get the boxes out so we can actually feel like we have moved in. So that's kind of how it went for us, but we haven't really like spent the time to organize organize things. Organizing and cleaning are my favorite things to do. I love to just zone out and organize, make things look good. But as an interior designer myself, I also want these spaces not only to be pleasing to the eye and organized, super clean, but I also want them to be functional. So we're going to focus on maximize the space that we have for things that we use the most and maybe store away things that we don't use as often. Especially in a small apartment like mine, you can keep everything where you need it and it actually helps to keep things more organized in the long run because it's where you need it most and if it's not you're going to be digging through trying to find things so we're going to work on that as well. I know you've all probably seen the home edit pictures of the rainbow cereal and the rainbow books and clothes and I actually have my rainbow order books on my bookshelf so I'm not throwing shade at that but I you know, if you don't eat cereal, if you don't eat all those cereals, you're taking up precious real estate in your pantry and it might look good, but it might not work best for you. So we're gonna focus on that in this video. I do wanna make it look beautiful, but I also want to make it functional. I cannot emphasize that enough. Subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this one and let's get into it. Here's a little overview of what our closet looks like. It's a walk-in closet from our bedroom and there's just like a little pocket door here my side is kind of over here and then we kind of mesh together and then ben's side um and then i have some clothes here and then our jackets are kind of mixed so this is a lot to tackle i'm honestly a little overwhelmed so i really want to start by decluttering and clearing out clothes that we don't wear often as well as clothes that don't need to be hung up so like Ben never really reaches for jeans, so I'll probably get rid of those and put them in a bag, um, maybe on the top shelf, like in one of the storage bags. That's what we've done with our summer clothes. So he has a bunch of shorts here, and this is all like prime real estate, so I wanna clear this out and then maybe put shirts back that he wears often here. I have tons of PJs in here, and I just want to like declutter because I don't even reach, like this doesn't even go down in a laundry cycle, and that's kind of how I gauge what I need to keep and what I need to either get rid of or put away in storage. I have all my work clothes just waiting for me to use them, but I'm still working from home. I'm not sure if I want to put these away for now because I really don't wear those, but we'll see. I'm gonna decide still. And then I have some going out shirts, uh, athletic shirts, um, like miscellaneous jackets and vests and things that don't really fit anywhere else. We have our jackets here. Our laundry goes there. Yeah, this is an overview. And then up here can definitely be utilized better. And then on the top shelf, I don't know how organized that's gonna look, but I wanna put our clothes up there that we're not using as much. We also have under the bed storage too, so I'm gonna utilize that as well. First goal is probably to get these hangers all organized. I remember in my last closet clean with me, I said that I don't like when the hangers aren't organized, so. We're gonna try and figure that out. I don't know if we have enough to make them 
completely, you know, like white, black, and these like non-slip hangers together, but we're gonna try to make it work. And there's stuff that I don't wear that I've hung up, but I don't wear often. So I'm gonna also clear that out as well. We're gonna work on decluttering, figuring out what we need at um, eye level and what needs to be in prime real estate, what doesn't, just to make it easier and more functional. Cause right now this is our overload. It actually looks really bad right now because this is laundry that has been drying. So a lot of this will go back into the closet, but what ends up happening is we just like end up throwing things on here and then I have to clean this up like every day and it's just, it's a mess. So trying to make it more functional in here so that it's not overflowing. I started off by removing all the empty hangers and rearranged my clothes in color order. I really wanted to get this looking much better as soon as possible, so I felt like organizing them in color order first would help and make me feel less overwhelmed with the entire closet that I had to do. So once I had the clothes in color order and the way I wanted them, I started to switch out the hangers. Moving up to the top, I decided to put all of my bags here. I was finding that I was reaching all the way to the top for bags to put my laptop in and it just wasn't functional and not really easy to reach. So I love how this turned out. Everything's within reach and really easy to grab and just makes my life a lot easier. I don't have to jump up and try to grab things from the top shelf. Moving over to the middle section of the closet, I decided to pull out everything and refold it. There were a few things here that I decided to put away into bags because they were shorts and things that we weren't going for, especially in the middle of winter. And while I was folding and making things look perfect to go back on the shelves, I had Ben look through some things and make sure that everything was something that he wanted and that he wore often. And I did the same thing as well with my pajamas. And then we put everything into a pile to donate because we don't have too much space. I didn't want to keep things that we weren't going for or wearing as often or that we didn't need laying around.
At first, I really liked having our jewelry here, um, mostly for me, but Ben's watches were on there too. But I just found that it really wasn't working for us. We needed that extra space and Ben had piles of clothes on the right there, so I wanted him to have a space for t-shirts that he just grabs all the time and make it look neat and organized. Eventually, we will have a dresser to put our jewelry and little things on, so I removed that and now it's a lot more functional. Then I moved down below and removed all of our jeans, refolded them, and they are looking super organized. Okay, moving on to one of my favorite parts, Open Spaces gifted me some of these organizers and if you guys watched part two in my kitchen, I used some of their items, their shelf organizer and a bunch of other things and they worked so perfectly. I decided to bring two of these bins into our closet. It was a perfect size and it tucks them away and makes them look really neat on the shelf. I loved how these turned out. For the bin of mine, I actually put the wood topper on and it looks so cute. Okay, moving on to our jackets. I feel like this section grows and grows even though we don't really buy jackets. It just is always too big. So I ended up slimming down the hangers here and using those things that you get from the dry cleaner and has tons of them. We were also running out of the other ones. Moving them down here, you can't really see them, but they still look organized. And then for Ben's shirts, his work shirts, we didn't have enough hangers to pull all of these off and make them look the same, but I just kind of organized them in color order and switched out some of the hangers and I did as much as I could. For the last part of this, I wanted to reorganize my shoe organizer here. I took out all of the shoes that I'm really not wearing that are more work shoes because I am still working from home. And then I actually used the top part of this organizer to store my crossbody that I reach for every time I go out. I put some slippers in here, some shoes that I wear on a daily so it's just easier to grab them and they're up off of the floor because we had a lot of shoes on the floor. I then put my makeup bag up there, organized the shoes below. Then I vacuum sealed all of the items that were for the summer or warmer weather. If you live in a small apartment, this is such a great way to store away things that you really don't need lying around and taking up prime real estate. I know they break and they're not the most reliable, but if they do work and you don't have a dog that likes to chew them up, then it's a great thing to have. Are you the reason why there's a hole in there? Are you the reason why there's a big hole in it? 